to specifically answer the question. Uh, I would answer it much like the rest of them have done. Uh, there's no question that we need to increase our business base. Uh, I would hope that I could work with uh, business leaders, especially through the, the uh, Chamber of Commerce. I mentioned North Ogden City has been a member of the Chamber of Commerce. In fact, Ron Flam, who's a council member, is on the board of directors for the Chamber of Commerce. And uh, that's, he's there for a purpose, and he's doing a good job and networking and getting the word out and trying to get businesses to come to that way. But businesses make their own decisions, and uh, uh, we, we have something to offer, and they have to look and see if they want to take it. Now, we have a good general plan. We have an excellent general plan. That plan provides for business development all along Washington Boulevard. And so we have, uh, we have a lot of room to develop. We have a lot of room for growth. And so, sure, that's going to help our tax base. But we're still going to have, uh, we're still going to be uh, a community of residences. And it's going to take, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to take taxes. It's going to take money to keep our city running. It's going to take those kinds of things to, uh, to have a viable city and to have a place that we can all live and enjoy and raise our families. So, uh, North Ogden has made, the, the leaders of North Ogden have made a concerted effort in all these years, all the years I've been a part of it, we've spent hours and hours and days and days on our budgets. We've gone over every item. Uh, we're, we're not excessive in anything that we're doing in the city. Thank you, Richard. At the beginning of the meeting, you were uh, urged to write down any questions you may have for the candidates, and the time has come for us to go through some of these questions now. <laughs> All right, we're going to change the uh, timing on this. For the first question, we'll have a one-minute maximum. <coughs> and uh, the question is, how can each candidate be contacted for questions? A web page or an email? Let's start off with uh, Wade Butler. Wade Butler, rather. Tell me what you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. There you go. At the bottom of my flyer, uh, it has two two emails, and it also has my personal cell phone number. And if you didn't get one, it's the bright red one. If you didn't get it, then I'll give it to you afterwards, and you can get a hold of me anytime, and I'll return your call within that day before my pillow gets to bed that, that same night. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Brian Bond. Uh, I'd be happy to take any questions or have contact through my email, and uh, I'll give you two. So my business email is Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at rvarchitects.net and my home email is blbot, B -L -O -T -T, at q.com and I will uh, respond to you. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Let's go to Nick McIntosh. Uh, my email is fruitland, just like the street, and then the number four at gmail.com or my home phone. <laughs> uh, let me give you my cell phone because I always have that with me. It's 801-940-7249. Thank you, Nick. Now let's go to Brent Taylor. Uh, my email, it's also on my flyer. I'll be happy to give you one here at the end if you haven't got one. It's voteforbrent at gmail.com and the uh, word for, vote for Brent. I know in marketing you're supposed to say it like three or four times to get it in people's minds, so I'll probably say it again here after the phone number. Um, my cell phone, feel free to call anytime. If it's really late, I might not answer, but uh, please just leave me a message. Either way, and I'll definitely get back to you. It's 801-735-3793. And that wonderful email again, voteforbrand at gmail.com. Thanks. And from the mayor's race, Richard Harris. Well, my flyer, which I hope there are plenty of them around, has uh, my telephone number, it has my email address, it also has a website. That website has the same information on it. And also, if you go to the city's website, and go to the, 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 the council link, you'll find my phone number and another one. Here. So you can reach me through all those venues, all those avenues. Thanks. Reed Mackley. My email is j.reedmackley at yahoo.com. My cell phone number is 668, that's 801-668-6497.
Thank you, Reed. The next uh, question is from Roger Howell. We'll have a 30-second uh, time limit on these. I would like to know each candidate's political affiliation. Mm -hmm. And let's get started with Brian Bott. Well, that will be easy. I am not uh, declared as uh, a Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, or anything else. All right, let's go then to Nick McIntosh. Um, registered Republican and delegate for the, um, for the Republican Party. And Brent Taylor? I'm a registered Republican as well. Wade Bigler? Uh, I'm a Republican. I don't uh, vote just straight Republican, though I try to study the issues, and, but I'm definitely a uh, Republican. Reed Mackley? Also Republican, and I have uh, supported some of the movements for the Constitution Party. However, I'm not a member of that party. And uh, let's see, Richard Harris? I'd like to point out that all these city races are nonpartisan. However, I am a registered Republican. All right, our third question from the audience. We'll have a two-minute limit on this one. Do you favor continued city financial support of the Northview Senior Center? Do you favor continued city financial support of the Northview Senior Center? Let's start things off with Nick McIntosh. Um, I won't take two minutes on this. I do. Um, our seniors have, what, have made this community what it is, and we need to support our seniors. Um, same with veterans and groups like that, people that support us and have made our community the way it is, we need to support them. And let's go to Wade Bigler. 100% yes, I do support it. And uh, two years ago and two days, two days and two years ago, my mother passed away, and my dad's 80 years old. And after being married for a lifetime, things can get pretty lonely. And uh, it's wonderful. I think it's a wonderful thing, and, and it's worth it's worth having, um, so that they can get together and and enjoy each other's company and so forth. So 100%, yes, yes, yes. Let's go to Brian Bott. Yes, I uh, <coughs> support and continue to. Uh, support of the Senior Center. I think it's a great asset to our community, not just to the North Ogden area, but is the North View Senior Center. Uh, I had an opportunity during its design to be involved in the process that uh, came to become the Senior Center and uh, to get to know some of the people involved over there and to understand their situations and what the Senior Center does for them. There's no way I could say we could support it. And from the city council candidates, Brent Taylor. Okay, I was worried I might have gotten uh, skipped <laughs> over there, but um, yes, I would. And I'd like to, you know, just take a little moment to explain why, and a little bit of my thinking on that, I think, will be applicable to other questions along the same lines. Um, I think the proper role of government is a very difficult thing to get your arms around. Ideologically, it's always easy. To, you know, say it should be this, shouldn't be this. But in real life where the decisions get made, that's where it gets a little bit more complicated because there's so many factors that go into it. And <coughs> one of the things I think with recreational programs like this, in this case for the senior citizens, or parks around the city, is that there is um, a need for government intervention at times when there's market failure. Meaning there's not a business that could open and run a city park because it's not practical to charge admission at the North Ogden City Park to go walk your dog around or 25 cents to let your child you know, swing on the swing or something like that. There's a market failure there where it's not practical that business or private enterprise can provide parks. Now I don't say across the boards the city should be involved in everything. We have to apply the principles, at least I would, that's what I believe in is saying the city should only get involved with something when there's a good reason, like a market failure. And that's the same thing for you know, telephone service, sewer service. We can't have 10 different companies running sewer pipes through our city. We can only have one set. So that means it's going to be a monopoly for someone, and that's why the city has to manage it. Same for telephone lines. There can't be 10 sets of telephone lines going throughout the city. So I would say, uh, in general, I'm hesitant to get government involved in things, but when there's a market failure where no private business could do that, and I don't think a private business could make a profit doing a senior center, but it's a wonderful thing. It's a reasonable recreation program, and I would support it. And going to the mayor's race, uh, Richard Harris. 
I support 